What I want are those three dead ponytas or brimstone stallions. They have the bun that we need. Right. Woo, that was so many gifts. It must be my birthday. Everyone, I have a confession to make. I like speed buns and I cannot lie. You other gamers can't deny. When a mob walks in with an itty bitty waist, see that round thing in your face, you get permanent stat boosts. That's right. In Bravely Default 2, you can get booster buns that permanently increase your stats. I'm going to show you how to get them right here. And if you want to permanently increase your knowledge stat and my happiness stat, booster bun that like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. This bun farming strategy comes from Alexandru Hinman. Thank you, Alexandru, for helping the community. So what you need is the Phantom Class Mastered. To unlock the second special ability, results guaranteed. Expends 40 magic points to guarantee that any ability effect with a percentage chance of occurring will be triggered. So if something may happen some of the time, this is going to make sure it happens every time. You want to pair this with Master Thief abilities, Magpie, roughly 25% chance of acquiring items when stealing. But that Phantom class makes it 100%. And on top of that, if you add Rob Blind, when stealing, two items can be acquired at once. So you're guaranteed to steal two rare items. You'll be living life like a celebrity, people just giving you things. And then you can endorse their booster buns. I like to pair this with Mug. The user occasionally steals items when performing regular attacks. And Indiscriminate Rage allows regular attacks to target all enemies at full power. So you're going to be stealing from everybody. No one's safe. And if you have it, with Indiscriminate Rage, make sure you have Epic Groovecast on from Bard class. Targeting all enemies with spells or abilities will not reduce their damage or effects. Let's try out the strategy. What I want are those three dead Ponytas, or Brimstone Stallions. They have the bun that we need. Woo, that was so many gifts. It must be my birthday. Bonus. If you're thinking, Boogie Boogie, I don't have Phantom class yet. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of you. Once you get the Thief class and Gambler class, you can still farm buns efficiently. You're going to want to use Rob Blind, Magpie, Mug if you don't want to use the Steel ability. And for Gambler class, I'd recommend Night Shift. Non-Roulette abilities with the chance of triggering extra effects are more likely to do so at night. So you want to hunt those booster buns at night. If you want, you can also add Rare Talent. The likelihood of enemies dropping rare items increases by 10% for every party member with this ability. So if the enemy drops buns or a rare item, you might be able to get that with this. To further increase your stealing chances, Black Mages, Luna Powered. During the night, Offensive Magic, Evasion, and Luck are increased. And 4% of magic points is restored for each turn. And on top of that, if you sub Freelancer, Lucky Charm. Increase the target's luck by 5 turns. You also get Wish Upon a Star later, but we're talking about people who don't have Phantom yet. You can also buy Thief Gloves and Wizwald. Effective when equipped, chance of stealing increased by 15%. Pretty awesome. Make sure it's nighttime so you have a lot of enemies. So with the strategy, what you want to do is make sure you use the Brave, use Miscellany, Lucky Charm, and then Steal or Mug. Ooh! Told you it's good. And if you want to increase the rare items you get, you can farm this dagger, effect when equipped, Thief passive abilities. You can farm it in this portal in the late game. Thanks to Van Noah and Starcat5 for that tip. I got a lot of location from these buns from Run Run 245 from Gamefax. In the Halcyonia area, these Sahagin enemies have defense buns. These ghost ponytas have speed buns. In the mountain pass leading to Savalon, there's these Hecaton shares. Nice. In Savalon, in the sand ruins, you have Diadara Boki. They have res power buns. The Wiki Wikis have speed buns. Nice. In the underground water caverns of Savalon, these long-eared rabbits have evasion buns. In Wizwald, these spiders give magic defense buns. These wasps give aim buns. These moths give evasion buns. These tortoises give defense buns. In the Wizwald sewers, these skeletons have a physical attack bun. These elementals have an MP bun. In the Wizwald lab, the Gigantos has a critical chance bun. In the Wizwald Woods, you can hunt the Mossy Fungu for magic attack buns. In the Pink Woods area in Wizwald, the Golden Bear has HP buns. In the last dungeon of Wizwald, you have Bronze Lions, magic defense bun. In the last dungeon of Wizwald, you also have Fallen Follies, who have restorative power buns. In Rhymedall, the Yetis have HP buns. The Polar Bears have Defense Buns. The Shadow Moths have Evasion Buns. The Cuckoo Clan has Magic Defense Buns. The Dusk Wizzies have Magic Attack Buns. The Aka Onis have Physical Attack Buns. In Rhymedall, Serpent's Grotto, Terrans have Restorative Power Buns. 
Luke's element has speed buns. In the ice dungeon near Rheimdahl, White Fangs have aim buns. The Azazels have MP buns. The Frost Tortoise has critical chance buns. Thank you, Clint Watkins, for that tip. In Holograd, these tortoises give you defense buns. The Osmodeus have magic attack buns. The Unicorni also have a bun. Quick bonus, when you start New Game Plus, you can't keep your stats, but you can keep your booster buns. Stockpile a lot of these if you want to break New Game Plus. And if you want to know the locations of legendary weapons, which is going to really help you farm, click that video right here. If you know any more strategies on how to farm buns, comment down below. I want the community to know. If you happen to know other locations of buns, comment down below as well. Also comment if there's anything else you would like to see in Bravely Default 2. Stay healthy, stay strong, catch you next time.